I was asked to make a video on the all-star radio list node that we built here in Oregon. This is Chris, AB7BS in Eugene, Oregon, and we're going to show you the final product. So in the last video, this will truly be an update video, we showed the Raspberry Pi and the USB to analog converter that allows a microphone right there and the speaker to plug in to the box and have transmit and receive audio, no radios, no nothing, just power. Um, there were a few items I didn't have. The cellular amplifier that goes in the vehicle to work with the Verizon hotspot, I did not have in that video. And I was asked, what are we using that we know works? And it's a uh, Wilson, or what they now call Wilson Electronics Boost. It's a bi-directional boosting amplifier with no direct connections to any devices. It's done via a pass-through antenna inside the cab of the vehicle. This goes inside and hooks to the inside antenna port on the bi-directional amplifier. And then the outside antenna is this mag mount that is the size of a quarter and I tell you, they're really strong. And it goes to the outside antenna connection port here. These amplifiers are absolutely no joke. The model number that you want to use is the Drive 4G-M. They make a dash X and it has 3 dB more of amplification and that's a joke for an extra hundred bucks because these are expensive. So the 4G-M is the older model. They work perfectly, and you get 30 dB of amplification. The new one is 33. Big deal. Not worth it. Because these are spendy. Cheap hams, which there's a lot of you out there. Plug your ears, because I'm tired of hearing you say this stuff's too expensive. These are 380 bucks. They're not cheap. Sometimes you can find them used on Amazon warehouse deals for 305, 310. These are worth it. I've had these in my cars, motorhomes, whatever, for a long time. Um, cigarette lighter, and it is 12 volts. So you can cut off the cigarette lighter adapter here, which I do in my cars, cut it off. You don't need this because it takes up your port and is big and ugly. And just wire this into a 12 volt output that's you know in your truck. And then this box converts it down to six volts. Pretty cool stuff. Nothing wrong with that. All right. That is the cellular amplifier that is absolutely worth it, especially if you're using this in areas where uh, handoffs between towers doesn't work very well. On the road, freeways, motorhomes, yeah, I put them in everything I have. And then this device has to be within three to five feet of this pass-through antenna panel that's inside the vehicle. I typically put them on the ceiling in between the front seat and the back seat if you're having a family in the car. If you're not going to have a bunch of people in the car, then I put it more toward the front down in the center console somewhere to where the separation between the devices is even less. Okay, let's talk about hardwiring the all-star node in the vehicle. I did not have this in the last video. This is a 12 volt to 5 volt micro USB power supply and it provides 3 amps. The cool thing about this is is you can hook this into a splitter and run the Raspberry Pi which is a, a USB micro, micro USB I should say, and the Verizon hotspot. It's a micro USB as well. This single power supply that is the size of your thumb will run both of these devices and not even know it's doing it. So you can run it through a switch or a little splitter or whatever, or if you don't want to do any of that, you can buy two of these and they're $3.50 free delivery on eBay. And you can even get them with a right angle micro USB adapter so that when you plug it into the Pi, it doesn't come straight out. It turns like this and it makes it to where you can dress the wires so much easier. So that's cool stuff. If you're not gonna hardwire it in a vehicle, then you can do the battery pack, which I showed in the last video. This is a small one, 
6,000 milliamps, which today's standards is really small, and it runs this for just over 10 hours. That was not with the hotspot. So with the hotspot, drawing a quarter of an amp, you know, you're probably going to knock it down to, I'm going to guess, six or seven, maybe eight, who knows. But you get two of these at Costco for less than $20. They're extremely cheap. So the whole package is left to right, the amplifier, panel antenna in the car, mag mount on the top, cigarette lighter, we whack off the plug, hardwired 12 volts. The amplifier bi-directional unit here. This will amplify all cellular carriers in the United States, LTE, 4G, 3G, 1X, UMTS, AWS, GSM, and any other thing that I friggin' forgot. Uh, then the actual wireless hotspot itself, the Raspberry Pi and the micro node, the microphone, speaker. This is basically put it in your car and it's like digital radio. You either have a great signal or you're not there at all. And if you're not there at all, then you're really out in the boondocks and, well, you pick up a real radio. But for what the purpose is that we're going to use this for, it's totally awesome. People also asked about base stations. Absolutely. I'm going to set up three of these, two of them for our ham networks and one of them for another commercial purpose and have this sitting here in my house running off of my internet and I don't have to have a bunch of antennas and stuff outside and it just has superb audio and it's just voice over IP but it's dedicated, it's automatic, it's uh, certainly pretty cool. So uh, that is it. This is completely finished. All of this stuff except for the battery pack will be going in Ken's truck. The cellular amplifier which are these items here, both inside outside antenna power supply and the amplifier underneath the seat. And then the hotspot within five feet of the panel. The Raspberry Pi and the little uh, nodeless box. I had a guy ask me for a close up of this. Focus phone. Maybe. No. It's focusing on the booster next door. I can't say I blame you. Definitely worth more money. Ed's going to get a better website, or I should say a website going, so that you can see what he's selling. And he knows that I'm posting videos, so he's definitely going to get on the ball to, uh, to do that. So that's it. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be the first time we've put it in a full-time vehicle, and uh, we'll see how, how things go. This is Chris, AB7BS, Eugene, Oregon, showing all the components that we're going to do for a serious uh, uh, all-star radio list node running on Verizon with an amplifier, the hotspot, and the rest of the equipment that will give pretty much the best case scenario for reliable connectivity for an over-the-road truck driver that wants to communicate with our repeater system anywhere in the United States, basically. See you guys later.